welcome to Breaking Down Art Supplies. What? Today I'm going to actually be doing a tutorial. Hello, Lola. You're, you're jingling. Uh, today I'm going to be actually working on a tutorial of how to create your own jewelry kind of wall hanger because I made one previously and ended up selling them to my friends and my family and a couple of friends of friends of friends and it was a big hit but they all wanted to know how to do it so this is for those of you who want to keep your jewelry organized but don't want to shove it into a box and get those little knots in your necklaces because lord knows it takes forever to get those out plus it's nice to see all your jewelry laid out so today we're going to be turning this into this. So let's get started. First step in this project is you're going to want to find a picture frame that you like and fits the size that you need. I have a ton of jewelry so I went rather big. Then you're going to want to take it apart. Uh, I didn't have to be careful with the art or anything because all you really need is the frame itself. Um, you also don't need any of the hardware that actually would hold down the picture if there's any staples. You can actually pull those out with pliers like I did here. I also forgot to take the wire hanger off, which you're going to want to do. I was thinking I could just leave it on for uh, hanging purposes later on, but it's going to be visible at the end because there's no backing, so you're going to want to take that off too. Then uh, the next step, as you guessed it, is paint your picture frame. I happen to use the Turner Acryl Wash, which I would highly recommend because it sticks to just about anything, so any picture frame you get, whether it's wood, metal, uh, aluminum, uh, plastic, it, it should work for it. But it also happens to come in over 200 different colors, from just your basic original kind of flat colors to pearlescent, as well as um, metallics and even glitter, or um, the luminescent ones, which are black light activated, and that's really cool. Uh, you can see that I used the, it's called Peacock Blue, which happens to be my favorite color. I also did do dry brush technique with the pearlescent mint green. Uh, it was really cool. Add a little bit of shimmer. I also ended up splattering it on besides just the dry brush technique. Ooh, look at that shimmer. It's so pretty. So after you're done painting your frame, just put it to the side and grab your sticks. Now the sticks that I got happen to be at the thrift store as well, but... Uh, I think they're actually meant for like interior decorating like floral arrangements, but if you wanted to, you can actually just go grab some sticks from your backyard. I will suggest that you use sticks that have fallen off the tree and that are dried out and dead already because if you use freshly cut sticks, you're going to have issues with them possibly warping once they start drying out. After your sticks are thoroughly dry, go grab your frame so we can measure and cut them down to size. Now we're going to cut the sticks to fit the size of whatever frame you're using. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but I did find a trick is lay the sticks down in the back of your frame and just mark where the uh, frame's inner edge kind of drops down. Next step is just to go cut down your sticks. It is also good to remember that if your sticks have a slight bend to them, make sure it doesn't bend towards the back because if you secure them in place with it bending backwards, it's going to push your frame off the wall and it's going to sit unevenly and it's not gonna work very well. This is also where I remember to take the wire off. Now to attach the actual sticks, I use these metal offset clips. But no matter what you use, you're going to want to drill it before you actually screw into it because they do have a tendency to crack. Attach it to your frame and then you're going to want to just keep going around and attach all the other parts. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be super straight. I also got a roll of self-adhesive felt. Uh, this is really nice because if it does have a little bit of something sticking up, it's not going to hit your wall. Now I got these hooks from the hardware store. There's a box of 100 for like $4. All you have to do is measure about an inch to an inch and a half away from the frame and then kind of divide the space in between on your sticks. I happen to go about an inch in between each, so my hooks would be about an inch apart. So measure all of the little spots where you're going to have your hooks and then Drill halfway through the stick to ensure that your, your hook can go in, but you're not going to go all the way through and hit your finger. Now, just in case, you might want to actually try a couple hooks before you get too far into the drilling. 
just in case you're drilling a little bit too big of a hole or if there's any issues you can kind of troubleshoot it then. But when you are drilling you're going to want to kind of brace your stick so it's not pushing down but just make sure you don't put your finger directly underneath where your drill bit is in case you do happen to go all the way through but just continue to drill all those little holes and uh, continue on all three sticks. This is also a really good time to let you know I totally forgot uh, that it's a really good idea to install your hangers on the back of your frame before you install your sticks in case they have a bend to them and it doesn't lay flat, which most likely that'll happen. This is the one I was going to use. This is called a D-ring hanger and it's really nice to have two of these, one on either side, but I only had one so I ended up installing it right in the center. Then it's time to hang! You can kind of see all the really cool pearlescent effect that I got on it. How cool is that? Then all you have left to do is hang up all of your jewelry. You can hang necklaces, you can hang bracelets, you can also hang your rings if you want to. And then once it's all done, celebrate! Woohoo! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments on the project, uh, or if you're having any issues on doing this when you're at home, leave a comment below, and I will definitely be more than happy to answer anything for you. Also, if you'd like to see a slight variation on this project, click here, and I will show you how to make a wall organizer for your earrings. But I hope you enjoyed the weekend. If you liked this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button. Bye!